Hi friends. We're so excited to share that the latest update to Zoom includes a live transcript feature. What this means is that starting on Sunday, December 6th, during our Sunday morning worship service, automatically generated closed captions will be available at the bottom of your screen. Now, because these captions are automatically generated, there may be some errors here and there along the way, but we do hope it'll help make our services more accessible. And I also thought it might be helpful to give a short tutorial so that you can all get the most out of this feature. So if you're logging into our Sunday morning worship services on your computer, the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you are running the most up-to-date version of Zoom. You can do this by opening up your Zoom app on your computer and looking for your profile picture here in the upper right-hand corner of the window. Once you click on that, a menu will open and you can scroll down to check for updates. Once you click check for updates, Zoom will let you know if you are running the most up-to-date version, as it is in this case, or if you need to update. If you need to update, there'll be a button that says update and you click that and it'll update it for you. Once you are all up to date and successfully logged into our Sunday morning worship service, you'll notice that the closed captions automatically show up for you at the bottom of the screen. Now, this is the default setting, and if you choose to not have the closed captions on, you can simply go to the menu at the bottom of your screen where it says closed caption live transcript, and a menu will pop up, and you can click hide subtitle to get rid of the subtitles for you. And to turn the subtitles back on, it's the same process, except for it will say show subtitle, and you click that, and they'll come back on for you. Now, if there was something that was said earlier in the service and you'd like to go back and look at the transcript, you can look at that same menu and click uh, view full transcript and it'll pop open on the right hand sidebar of your screen. Once you're done looking at that transcript, you can click the menu again and click close full transcript and it'll disappear for you. Now, just a reminder that we do put a link to a PDF um, to the full script of our worship service on Sunday morning. And that script is put together by staff so that will have an accurate, um, a accurate script for the whole service. So if you do wanna look at that rather than the um, automatically generated caption version, um, you can look for that link in the chat box on Sunday mornings. Another feature here is you can adjust the subtitle size. So if you want to do that, you go again to that same menu and click subtitle settings. You click that and you can choose between normal, medium, and large. I have large selected on my computer so I can see it from a little bit further away. For those of you who are logging in on a mobile device, again, the default is for the captions to show up. Now, my screenshots are of my Android device, so if you're logging in on an iPad or an iPhone, this may be a little bit different for you. You'll have to let me know. Um, if you do want to turn off the uh, subtitles on your device, it's a little bit more complicated than on a computer, but you can find it um, on your Zoom app menu, so before you log in to a Zoom meeting. So what that looks like is this, when you open up your Zoom app, if you click down at the bottom where it says settings, um, that little gear right there, and then you can click meeting, and then you'll have to scroll down a little bit to find the closed captioning option. And you can toggle the switch here if you want the, it off or on during your meetings. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. As always, if you have more questions, please feel free to reach out. Looking forward to being together on Sunday. Stay well, friends.